So it looks like, ladies and gentlemen, we have a counter argument to the whole Blade drama that's going on regarding the script. Because if you guys remember my last video that I made about Marvel's live action Blade, there was talks around town that the script was very feminist focused, right? It was very woman focused and it was going to be talking to you essentially about life lessons, I believe they said. And it sounded very extreme, but at the end of the day, this is Marvel Disney. It's not really that extreme to begin with. There's a whole reason why South Park used the whole, you know, put a chicken in and make her gay kind of line, because that's essentially what's going on for pretty much everything, right? Well, we have an article here from Bounding that says former Blade script writer denies that his script was a narrative led by women. So the script writer that used to be working on this movie, who it no longer is, apparently has come out to defend the script and say that that's not the case at all. But the funny thing is, the key word here is former. This is a former Blade script writer. This is not a current Blade script writer. So again, even though when they were in their, uh, what's his name? Michael Starbury. Even though when Michael Starbury was the main writer or one of the writers uh the thing is uh, he is no longer a writer so he has no idea what's actually happening with the script afterwards so let's get into it guys but of course before we do if you're new here just consider hitting that subscribe button i would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into the youtube algorithm it says former blade script writer michael starbury denied that his version and previous versions very key words here of the script he saw featured a narrative led by women now again previous versions and his version his version is also a previous version it is not a current version of the script let's be very clear a report from variety's tatiana siegel claimed one of the persons familiar with the script permutation says that the story at one point morphed into a narrative led by women and filled with life lessons she added blade was regulated to the fourth lead a bizarre idea considering that the studio had two-time oscar winner ali on board later in her report siegel detailed that ali was ready to exit over script issues now i do believe all of that okay the reason why i believe all of that is because ultimately we've seen what's been happening you gotta remember blade blade was initially designed or thought of during peak mcu time okay we're still technically in peak MC mcu time because of the marvels coming out so we still know that this is something that they have in their mind when they try to make marvel movies now we're still in peak mcu but the thing is blade was initially thought of during peak mcu like real real peak mcu so of course it's not a far cry to think that a blade movie he was going to get cucked in his own movie it's not it's not a far cry to think that that's true but the problem is now you have all of these writers uh, actively coming out with so many problems regarding the script and this particular writer is trying to say that none of it ever happened that's not true it can't be true because we know that this movie is plagued with so many issues we know that ali himself has complained about the script multiple times we know that to be true so because all of that is true you have to wonder that there has to be something going on with the script that is causing so much chaos and it would not be shocking to think that it has to deal with feminist ideology being inserted into a non-feminist movie it's fucking blade at the end of the day why are we talking about women and feminist issues in blade that makes no sense but it says starbury reacted to siegel's claims on x where he wrote i worked on a draft of this before the strike never saw a version where blade was fourth lead or it was a narrative led by women and filled with life lessons but i suppose a lot could have happened since i had anything to do with it he added he was in 99 percent of the scripts i was a part of well again that was a draft script right so that's not that's not a final script at all not even close to it and also too you got to remember he says right before the strike there is so much going on well before the strike with blade so many issues so you cannot speak for every single version of the script but i guess he's going to since he's saying he was in 99 percent of the scripts it says in a subsequent post starbury wrote whatever is going on with blade i'm hoping for the best some good folks are involved in that joint in response to a user questioning if blade isn't about blade then why would we watch it starbury said he was in almost every scene when i was involved i don't know what happened but i'll just say i seriously doubt he was ever the fourth lead in any draft the blade movie has gone through quite a bit of turbulence since it was announced at san diego comic-con back in 2019 ladies and gentlemen 2019 i want you to take that in for a second this is 2023 right now this movie was announced four years ago people four years ago during peak mcu of course of course this is going to be a cucked version of blade i've been saying that since the first video i made about blade okay i've literally been you could go way back and check out the videos i made about blade i've literally been saying that they're going to cuck him and they're going to replace him just like they did with moon knight they're going to make a woman somehow the more prominent figure in blade's own movie i guarantee you in september of 2022 scooper jeff snyder claimed i'm told that the current blade script is roughly 90 pages and features exactly two lackluster action sequences he added marshall said to be very frustrated with the process feige said to be spread too thin but hey that's just what the source 
Universal to tell him he don't shoot the messenger. The same day he made this claim, a Marvel spokesman informed the Hollywood Reporter that director Bassam uh, Tariq was departing from the film due to continued shifts in our production schedule. Bassam is no longer moving forward as director of Blade, but will remain an executive producer on the film. We appreciate Bassam's talent and all the work he's done getting Blade to where it is, the spokesman added. Again, this movie has been in such development hell. It's ridiculous. Think about it for a second. I haven't seen a movie in development hell like this since uh, I'm, I can't even think of a movie, to be honest with you. But I can think of plenty of video games. I can't think of a movie. But still, it, it is it is bad. It is bad what's happening with Blade. Really, really bad. Terrible, to, to put it lightly. And uh, it goes to show that when you have ideologies taking precedence off of storytelling, this is what happens. You know, I guarantee you Blade would have been finished a long time ago if all of these writers didn't have certain checkboxes boxes that they had to fill when they were writing their stories. I guarantee you that Blade would have been finished a long time ago if the hiring process was made a little bit easier. You know, and the funny thing is it's a black led movie. It's a black led character. Blade is black. Like I how how are you struggling with this? I don't understand. The only way you're struggling with this is because you're trying to interject feminism into the movie. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to find a way to do it. And I guarantee you that's true. It says Tariq shared his own statement. It's been an honor working with the wonderful folks at Marvel. We were able to put together a killer cast and crew eager to see where the next director takes the film. Shortly after the announcement, there was a report from the director that claimed that Moon Knight and Witcher Nightmare of the Wolf writer Biel de Mayo had been tapped to work on the script. Oh, okay. So if the Moon Knight, if the Moon Knight writer, oh my God, has been, has been tasked with the script, you already know that's what's going to happen. Look what happened to Moon Knight in his own TV show. You mean to tell me that this is not going to be a feminist nightmare? Come on, bro. In April of this year, it was revealed that Nick Pizzolatto had been tapped to work on the Blade script. Siegel claims in her most recent report that Michael Green is now working on the script as well. It seems like everybody and their mother has had a chance at the Blade script right now for Marvel. Like, this movie is in such development hell, pretty much every writer in all of Hollywood has touched the Blade script at this point. So it's going to be a nightmare, man. Even if they can somehow get it all together, even if they can somehow put some sort of story together that is going to make a, a, a final product possible, I guarantee you it's going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess. You're going to see it happen on screen, the mess, right? Like, anytime you have a movie TV show, video game especially, that was in development hell and that you know was in development hell for many, many, many years, you can always see the mess, the writing on the wall, right? You can see it when you play the game. You can see it when you watch the show. You can see it when you watch the movie. You can see the mess all over the place because you can see lack of direction. You can see lack of creativity. You can see all of that play out on screen. You can't hide that stuff. That's the problem. They try to hide it and you can't hide it. So after a while, if you have no direction, you should probably probably just scrap the whole thing entirely or get an entirely new team to take it over because right now the people that you have are not cutting it they're not making it and blade unfortunately is going to be one of those movies as much as i love blade they're going to destroy blade i've been saying that since day one and i'm going to continue saying it now blade is not going to be the blade that you think when that movie comes out so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it. don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.